What up, everybody? This is your boy, Tech G, back with another video to help you successfully pass the Comp to your 220 1002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you are going to learn about basic Microsoft command line tools that you will need to know to successfully pass this CompTIA examination. All right. First things first, let's talk about the command prompt. So the command line, this is also called the Windows command line. And this is a user interface that's navigated by typing commands at prompts instead of using a mouse. Unlike a GUI operating system, a command line only uses a keyboard to navigate by entering commands and does not utilize a mouse for navigation. Let's talk about how to access the command prompt. So the command prompt can be accessed on a Windows computer by clicking the command prompt option in the start menu. In Windows 8, 8.1 and 10, you can press the Windows key plus X and then press command prompt to run this thing in standard mode or command prompt admin to run it in administrative mode. You can also press the Windows key plus R to open up the run box and then type CMD or CMD.exe and then press OK and that will get you access to the command prompt. Now the command prompt is often used by technicians to do the following. It provides data recovery for systems that cannot boot manually. You can reinstall lost or corrupted system files. You can print file listings. You can copy, move and delete data and you can display or configure operating system settings from the command prompt. Let's talk about some of these basic windows commands that you need to know. So, First things first, you want to keep in mind that you can enter these commands as either lowercase, uppercase, or a combination of the two. The first group of commands we need to learn about are the navigation command. So you have the DIR or the directory command, and this displays a list of current folders and files on a directory. You have the change directory command or the CD command, and this changes the working directory that you are currently working up out of. And then you have the CD dot dot command, and this allows for you to navigate to a previous directory that you were working up out of. Next, we have the IP config command, and this displays TCP IP network information on a computer. You have the ping command. This sends IP packets to check the network connectivity. You have the trace route command, and this is similar to the ping command, but this returns the path information that your ping went out there and took to an IP address destination. In Mac and Linux, this command is also called trace route. You have the net stack command, and this displays a list of active TCP connections on a local network. We have the NS lookup command, and this gathers the network's DNS information. You have the shutdown command, and this, well, shuts down the computer. You have the DISM or the DISM command, and this stands for Deployment Image Servicing and Management. And this services images. You have the SFC command or the System File Checker. This scans system files and replaces damaged or missing files, and this has to be run in admin mode. You have the Check Disk command, and this scans specified drives for errors and repairs them, and this also has to be run in administrative mode. You have the Disk Part or the Disk partition command. This creates and removes and manages disk partitions. And this too has to be run in administrative mode. We have task kill. This stops specified tasks on a local or remote computer. You have GP update. This refreshes group policy on local or active directory systems. You have GP result. This displays the resultant set of policy for the specified computer and user. You have the format command. This creates or recreates the specified file system on recordable or rewritable storage, such as magnetic flash and optical drives and overwrites the contents of the drive. You have the net use command. This connects to shared folders. This is similar to mapping a network drive. You have the net user command. This manages user accounts by letting you add, remove, or change things about the user account. Then you have the command command forward slash question mark command. And this displays help for a specified command that you are going to type in those parentheses or those brackets right there. 
Then we have the copy command, and this copies one or more files to another folder or drive. You have the X copy command. This copies one or more files and folders to another folder or drive. Then you have the robo copy or the robust file copy, and this copies or moves files and folders. Now let's talk about some of the advantages of the X copy command. So the X copy command, this can be used in place of the copy command to do the following things. It can provide for faster operation on a group of files. So X copy reads the specified files into RAM before copying them to their destination. It can create folders as needed by specifying a destination folder name in the X copy command line. This will create a destination folder if needed. And then X copy can be used as a backup utility. This could be used to change the archive bit from on to off on files to allow X copy to be used in place of commercial backup programs. And then we have the robo copy command and this functionally replaces the X copy command with more options such as it has the capability to tolerate pauses and network connections. It has the capability to mirror contents of the source and destination folders by removing and copying files. It has the capability to perform multi-threaded copies for faster copying on multi core PCs. It can log copy processes and it can list or copy files matching specified criteria, including minimum file sizes. All right. So in summary, we have just talked about some of the basic Microsoft command line tools that you need to know to pass the CompTIA A plus 220 1002 examination. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go check out my website so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you pass the CompTIA A plus 220 1002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.